Desertification is a pressing environmental challenge that silently threatens our planet. It affects over a billion people globally, turning fertile lands into barren deserts and worsening food insecurity and poverty. So, what exactly is desertification? Desertification is the transformation of fertile land into desert, often caused by drought, deforestation or unsuitable farming practices. It mainly impacts arid, semi-arid and dry, sub-humid regions. This degradation of land reduces its productivity, rendering it unable to sustain life. According to the United Nations, desertification affects around 3.6 billion hectares of land. That's nearly 25% of the Earth's land area, impacting over 1.5 billion people in more than 100 countries. What causes desertification? First, climate change. Rising global temperatures and changing rainfall patterns result in prolonged droughts and increased A evaporation rates. For example, the Sahel region of Africa has experienced severe droughts over the past decades, making it difficult for traditional farming and grazing methods. Second, soil erosion. Accelerated soil erosion by wind and water due to lack of adequate vegetation. For example, the southwestern United States faces severe wind erosion due to sparse vegetation. Third, deforestation. Trees and vegetation are crucial in maintaining soil structure. Clearing forests for agriculture, logging or urban expansion exposes the soil. For example, the Amazon basin faces significant land degradation due to deforestation for cattle ranching and soybean farming. Fourth, overgrazing. Livestock grazing beyond the land's capacity prevents vegetation recovery. For example, in Mongolia, extensive livestock grazing has caused vast desertification. Fifth, unsustainable agricultural practices. Overuse of chemical fertilizers and inadequate irrigation degrade soil quality. For example, in parts of India, overuse of chemical fertilizers and inefficient irrigation practices have led to soil salinization. Sixth, urbanization and infrastructure development. Urbanization and construction replace natural landscapes with impermeable surfaces, disrupting water flow. For example, rapid urbanization in the Middle East has replaced natural landscapes, increasing desertification. The effects of desertification are far-reaching. First, loss of biodiversity. Land degradation leads to habitat loss, pushing many species towards extinction. For example, in the Sahel region, desertification has caused a decrease in various plant and animal species. Second, disruption of water cycles. Lack of vegetation reduces soil's ability to retain water, affecting groundwater recharge and increasing surface runoff. For example, in the southwestern United States, desertification has contributed to the drying up of rivers and lakes. Third, reduced agricultural productivity. Barren land leads to declining crop yields, resulting in food shortages and increased food prices. For example, in parts of India, reduced crop yields due to desertification have forced farmers to abandon their land. Fourth, displacement and migration. Uninhabitable land forces communities to migrate, often leading to resource conflicts. For example, in Mali and Niger, desertification has caused significant internal migration. Fifth, health impacts. Dust storms in degraded areas can lead to respiratory problems. For example, in the 1930s, the Dust Bowl in the United States caused severe respiratory illnesses. How can we combat desertification? First, reforestation and afforestation. Trees stabilize the soil and restore biodiversity. For example, the Great Green Wall Initiative aims to restore 100 million hectares of land across the Sahel region by 2030. Second, agroforestry. Integrating trees and shrubs into agricultural landscapes enhances soil fertility and reduces erosion. For example, in Kenya, 
agroforestry practices have improved soil health and increased crop yields. Third, efficient irrigation systems. Using irrigation systems like drip irrigation helps conserve water and decrease soil salinization. For example, in Israel, drip irrigation has improved water efficiency and agricultural productivity. Fourth, drought resistant crops. Planting drought resistant crop varieties helps maintain agricultural productivity in arid regions. Example, I Acre Set has developed drought resistant varieties of sorghum and millet. Fifth, remote sensing and monitor. Satellite imagery helps monitor land degradation and restoration efforts. Example, the European Space Agency's Desert Watch project monitors desertification in the Mediterranean region. Sixth, international agreements. Global cooperation is essential. International agreements like the UNCC promote sustainable land management globally. How can we help combat desertification? First, individual actions. Support sustainable agriculture, reduce deforestation, and promote reforestation. Conserve water and plant trees. Second, community initiatives. Local communities can plant trees and conserve water to combat desertification. Desertification is a silent crisis that poses a significant threat to our environment, economy, and society. By understanding its causes and effects and implementing sustainable solutions, we can combat this global issue. Every action counts. Together, we can restore the land and secure a sustainable future. Thanks for plugging in. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, stay curious and stay scientific.